Hello and welcome to CBT Micro Nugget on Citrix Certified Administrator Certification. I'm Casey Wood. I'm going to be talking to you today about what exactly it is, how you get it, and why you want it. The Citrix Certified Administrator, or more commonly referred to as the CCA certification, is the entry-level certification for Citrix Systems products to verify that you have the skills necessary to monitor, maintain, manage, and operate its products. There are four main tracks that you can achieve for the CCA. The first being the application virtualization track called Zen App. Now all of their products that start with an X actually are pronounced with the letter Z in front. The second main track is the desktop virtualization track called Zen Desktop. The third main track is the server infrastructure track called Zen Server. And the fourth track is the Netscaler track. This deals with access and load balancing for its products. The great thing about each track is that there's only one test to pass and then you become a CCA in that particular product. Let me take you over to the Citrix website and show you more information about the certification and the exams. The URL for the Citrix website is citrix.com slash certification. Now that we're at the certification part of the Citrix website, I chose the ZenApp 6.5 track in this example. If you look under description here, it shows you some general topics that are going to be on the exam so that you have a frame of reference on what you need to study for. These are general topics that you should have thorough knowledge of so that you can pass the exam. Now on the right side, there is a very important preparation guide. This is usually a PDF file that you can download, and this gives you more detailed information on this specific exam and what will help you pass it. Let's go ahead and click on it now so I can download it and show you what's in it. So this is exam 1YO-A20. This is the actual Citrix exam number, which will be more important when we actually register for the exam. Let's go to the table of contents. Now sections 3 and 4 are usually in the most important sections because they tell you how best to prepare for the exam and they also show you the different weights as far as the type of information that's going to be on the exam and how much of each. If we go down to section 3, here's some recommended knowledge and skills. Now these are some general things that you should know like configuring operating systems in this case, using Active Directory. These are just general things but these are definitely things that will help you so make sure that you at least read through this and if there is anything on this list that you're not quite sure about you might want to go get a little more experience on that particular topic. Now down on section 4 that's also a very important section I'll scroll down this is the waiting section. Now in this case it shows you that 10 percent of the exam is going to be weighted using understanding the Citrix architecture. That means that out of all the questions approximately 10% of them are going to be dealing with understanding the Citrix architecture. Whereas 5% is going to be dealing with licensing and installing Zen App. So chances are, since licensing is a smaller section of 5%, there's probably going to be less questions on licensing than there is, let's say down here at the bottom, troubleshooting is 13%. Chances are there's going to be more questions on troubleshooting than there are licensing. Now that's not to say that any one section is less important than the other. It's just showing you the general weighting for each particular section. Now that you have a thorough understanding and you think you're ready to take the exam, we need to register for the exam. The place you register is the VIEW website. The website link is VIEW.com, so V-U-E.com. Let's go ahead and go there now you want to sign in and if you scroll down here you'll want to select IT and then go down to Citrix now it wants you to either log in if you already have an existing login or you can create a new account in this case I'm going to log in since I already have an account just so you can see what it looks like to log in and I'll pause the video just so I can log in and put my password in. Great, now that I'm logged in, I can schedule an exam. So I can go through this list and choose which exam I want to register for. Now the one we just looked at was the Citrix 6.5 CCA. 
and that is 1Y0820. You'll see the exam right here. We can get a little information on it as far as like the price if you just click on this little I. You'll find out that in this case the exam cost $150. That's something you might want to know just so you can prepare for the cost of the exam. And the way you register is you simply click on the little checkbox here and then you scroll down and you select what language. Sometimes they are available in multiple languages like German and Japanese and whatnot. In this case I'll select English and scroll down again and you'll see that it's ready to go. So you click Next. On this screen it wants you to select a testing center that's close to you. So what you would do is you would enter your address, usually your home address or your work address, and it will find testing centers that are close to where you work. Once you find a testing center you can select it and then go ahead and continue with the registration process where you pay your fee and you register for the test. Then what it will do is it will give you an email confirmation and all you have to do is go and take the test. Upon passing the test you will then become a Citrix certified administrator in that particular product that you take a test in. I hope this has been informative and I'd like to thank you for viewing.